Hey, good morning. It's Friday. I hope you're planning a great weekend. I hope it includes being at SeaTech Sunday morning at 10 o'clock at the Holiday Inn on Walter Road. So this morning we are in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 uh, and following. And uh, the title of this morning's biscuit is, sound familiar? I, I think that as soon as we really get into this passage of scripture, you're going to recognize a lot of things. And I hope you'll stay tuned through the reading of the scripture and then the five things I have uh, as suggestions that you can do as a Bible-believing Christian in today's world uh, to stand up for Christ and to be a witness and be salt and be light. So, here we go. Sound familiar? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. But mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying its power, have nothing to do with them. They are the kind who worm their way into homes and gain control over weak-willed women who are loaded down with sins and are swayed by all kinds of evil desires, always learning, but never able to acknowledge the truth. Just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses, so also these men oppose the truth, men of depraved minds who, as far as the faith is concerned, are rejected. So, does this sound familiar? If you turn on the evening news, I would think that this perfectly describes uh, what you see going on around you. So, what are our responses to be? I have one through five for you. One has part A and part B but five responses from Christians, Bible-believing, committed Christians to the world around you. Number one, recognize what is happening. There are two parts to that. Realize it's going to get worse as time goes on, but revival is still possible. That's what I pray for at CTEX. I pray for it in my own life at CTEX Church and at CTEX as a region of the nation, Southeast Texas. What do we do? We recognize what is happening around us, realizing it's going to continue to get worse, but revival is still possible. If believers get serious about prayer, if believers get serious about serving the Lord, if believers get serious about purity and about evangelism, we could still see revival. Number two, fight it. Do not roll over. Do not just take it. Do not give in. Do not give out. Fight it. Number three, preach the truth. Do not be swept along with the overwhelming erroneous opinions of the masses. Preach the truth. Number four, this is for the big boys and the big girls who are serious about their Christianity. Be ready to suffer. Nobody ever told us that it wouldn't be our lot in life to suffer for our faith in Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, Paul said, I'm grateful that I'm counted worthy to suffer for the name of Christ because to share in his sufferings mean that we, means that we will also share in his glory. And number five, remember where this ends. This does not end on this earth, nor does it end with the current administration or with even a revival if we were to get one. This ends in heaven. For us. And there, the time we spend on earth will be as a drop in the water of the oceans. We will be there for eternity with Him, remembering the things that we did for Him and rejoicing in the character, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, I understand it's bad. When you look out your front door, it's bad. What do we do? Recognize what's happening and that it's going to get worse. But revival is still possible. Fight it. Preach the truth. Be ready to suffer. <clears throat> and remember where this ends. Let me pray for you. 
Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for the time to turn aside and look into your word and pray with other believers who are serious about their faith. God, we ask you to help us be mindful of the times and yet standing on the promises of Christ our Lord. God, help us to have courage, uh, help us to have fortitude, help us to be bold and speak the truth in love. Lord, we love you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you don't mind, hit the like button, hit the share button, any kind of button you can that will help us spread the biscuit across Southeast Texas and beyond. And uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. God bless you.